Hi there, welcome to Use and DIY. My name's Ben. In this video, we're going to do some 3D room mapping with the Insta360 X3. Okay, so I've had the Insta360 X3 for a while now. I've been using it loads for traveling, uh, for personal photography with the family. Um, and getting 360 footage kind of when we're going out and about and on holiday, etc. We've got an upcoming trip to New York, which I'm hoping to use this loads with. Um, but what one of the things I've been looking at and quite interested in, um, more from a smart home perspective, um, is 3D room mapping. So creating a 3D uh, kind of image of a room, a space, um, and incorporating that into a smart home dashboard, which I know you can do in Home Assistant. Um, and I've never had a way of doing it and I came across an article and I didn't even realise you could do it with this. Um, so I think from an Insta360 perspective, I think they recommend using the slightly better camera which is the RS1, I'll confirm that, I think I might have got that wrong. Um, and that's more aimed at kind of professionals um, and people that kind of maybe do 3D mapping for a living, like estate agents for example. Um, but for kind of hobbyists and people like me who are just interested in getting more out of the technology they purchased, Hopefully, this will be perfect for it. Um, so in this video, we're gonna give it a go, kind of step through the steps. I've not even done it yet myself, I've not tested it. So we might just fail, uh, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. Okay, so the things we're gonna use are obviously the Insta360 X3. I'm not sure if it's compatible or usable on any, on any of the other cameras, but it definitely should be on this one according to the article I'm using. The article I'm referring to, again, I will refer to in the description. Uh, and it's an Insta360 blog post, so this is kind of official kind of ways of doing it. Um, so yeah, I've got the Insta360 X3, I've got the invisible um, selfie stick, uh, selfie stick, invisible selfie stick, uh, and I've got a tripod. So the tripod I've got is the one that the camera is on at the moment looking at me. So we'll be using that tripod. Um, and what you need to kind of power things uh, from an application perspective is an application called Matterport. Um, I, again, I've never used Matterport, I've downloaded it on my phone, I've created an account and I've not done anything yet. Um, so we're going to use Matterport on the phone, the Insta360 uh, X3 for the, as the hardware, and we're going to try and map out this kind of kitchen, dining, lounge area uh, and see how easy it is to do for a first timer. Um, so let's get things set up um, and we'll get cracking. Okay, so let's get things set up before we jump in and do the actual 3D scan. So as you can see, hopefully I've got my phone recording here, which I'll share on the screen over this way. Um, and I've got the blog post open that I mentioned previously. Um, so I've got the Matterport application, I've got the Insta360 uh, application. The first thing I need to do is I need to connect to the camera in the Insta360 app. So I'm going to go into that now and I'm going to connect to the Insta360 application. Um, which is there. Okay, so I'm connected to the camera inside the application now. So it's connecting to the device. Okay, so we're now connected. The blog post mentioned you need to have the uh, firmware up to date. So I'm gonna do a firmware upgrade now and I'll come back to you once that's done. Okay, so the firmware upgrade is done. It took about two minutes. Uh, they just happen quite uh, fairly regular like any other piece of hardware. So we're totally up to date now and we're reconnected back to the camera. So let me just share my screen again so you can kind of see what's going on. So I'll record that screen now uh, and we're back in the application as you can see there. So we're connected to the camera. As per the blog post, we're gonna jump back into the Matterport application. And this is inside the Matterport, Matterport application. As I mentioned, all I've done is created an account. I've not used it or anything yet whatsoever. So before we do that, let's just double check the blog post. Um, so it says, switch to the Matterport app and press connect to camera. So we'll go into Matterport. So we didn't need to click on connect to camera. As you can see, it's down here and we're connected. Um, so that is absolutely all done and dusted. So we go to jobs, we click on new job, put in the information there of the way we're doing the job. So I'll type in my information of my address and then we'll jump on to the next step. Okay, we're in the uh, middle of the room now. I've got the tripod set up just here. Um, so I've got the camera on the end of the tripod. It's got the invisible stick, invisible selfie stick on there ready to go. So we'll get the application out, uh, the Matterport application out and get things going now. Okay, so I'm in the Matterport application here, just recording the screen. Uh, the camera is over there in the middle of the room. I'm gonna press capture on the, uh, on the phone. I'm gonna come out of the way so it doesn't capture me and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're currently scanning on the Matterport application. 
We'll let that complete and then we'll move the, uh, the camera to a different position. So I've just heard the camera click around the corner. Okay, so there you can see the initial scan on there. It's got the, the living room area. Uh, pretty good, I think. So what I'll do is I'll move it into a different position inside the living room, take a couple more shots, and then I'll come back onto the application and show you what I've done. Okay, so I've done the, all, all the scanning now. I've got it ready to upload. I'm going to go and upload in the application uh, and see what happens. Let's give that a go now. Okay, so it's got the information there, the 16 points of uh, upload points. So I'm just going to click on upload. And that's uploading now. So I'll upload it into the Matterport cloud, do the process in there, and then we'll see what it outputs. Uh, fingers crossed, I've done all the scanning properly and it's good quality, but we will see. Okay, so it's uploaded now, it's processing. I'm not sure, you can see there it's processing. I'm not sure how long that will take to process. So I'll leave that for a while now and then we'll come back. Once it's done, we'll have a look at it and I'll uh, see what the results are like. Okay, that took a few hours, uh, but it finally processed and it's available to look at now in the app. Um, so I'm recording the screen down here, so I'll show it over here. Um, so you can see the job itself is completed. You can see kind of a preview of what's going on there. If I jump into the spaces area and click on it, this should take me hopefully into kind of the 3D view of it. Excellent. Okay, so we're inside the actual view now and it looks brilliant. So you can see there it's picked up everything from that first shot. Um, if I press down here, um, there's different views I can look at. So I've got kind of a zoom, zoomed out look uh, and you can rotate around there, zoom in kind of a bird's eye view of the actual floor plan, which is great. You can also see as well that it's got the measurements um, of the actual room space. If I zoom in a little bit there, you can see obviously each of the sizes, uh, each of the area sizes, which is really good. Um, if I go on back in there, I can hopefully just kind of navigate around. So if I press onto the kind of floor over there, that should take me around, yeah, it does. So you can see you've got an excellent view, 360 view all around in the different areas, not just the place where you took the picture, uh, but everywhere it's detected that, mapped it all together, processed it and created that 3D space, which is brilliant. Um, so overall, just from the first attempt, that's looking really, really good. Okay, so for the first attempt, that's all done now, done and dusted. Step through the different steps uh, to get that working, just using the free Matterport application uh, and the free Matterport uh, account as well on there. Um, you can upgrade the Matterport account uh, to kind of a slightly higher um, kind of level. Um, and you can have more users, and you can share links publicly, things like that. So I'll probably delve a little bit deeper into that and do a bit of a follow-up video on the extra features you can get if you sign up. But there is a subscription fee to that to pay to get more, more features. Uh, but for free, in terms of the application and the subscription, for the starter one, if you just one space, you want to try it out, you can do it just with, with the free one, which is great. Okay, so if you, if you got the Insta360 X3 or the better uh, RS1 camera, um, that gives you a good idea of how to get started with Matterport, and the camera, and it's pretty simple really. Really straightforward, just takes a little bit of time taking all those pictures for your different sp for your space. Um, and then the processing time, obviously, depending on the size of the space, takes it longer if it's bigger. Um, but that was just a kind of beginner's guide. I'm a beginner as well, so step through that just kind of as, as a beginner. Um, I'll play around with the application a bit more, and then do a bit of a follow-up video, as I mentioned, just to go through some extra features if you get that paid plan. I probably will sign up for the paid plan for one month, uh, just to try it out, see if I can create some more spaces, try it out in different areas um, and, and see what it's like with other, other spaces with different requirements. Um, so if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If not for any reason, give it a thumbs down, give it a dislike. Any questions about myself, about the camera, about the application, anything I'm not covered, drop that below in the comments section. I'll reply to those questions and comments. And if you want to follow the Houston DIY channel for more tech reviews, product reviews and home DIY projects, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.